welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you what steps you can take if your phone is overheating or your phone is freezing or your phone is getting slow i'm going to show you a few steps how to fix this issue and first thing you need to do is just simply restart your phone so you can restart your phone by pressing power button pressing and holding power button and you will see three options here you can just restart from here uh, if if that doesn't fix the issue, then the second thing you need to do is go into the sto uh, device care. And in here, you can see battery uses for different apps. If you see any app that is taking abnormal battery or using abnormal battery, then you need to look at the app. Just for example, let's say if the Google Wallet is too, too, uh, taking too much battery, then you can just go press and hold the app. If it still doesn't fix the issue, then there is a third step you can uh, take to fix that issue. And the third step is uh, you need to put your phone into recovery mode. To put your phone into recovery mode, you will need other device. You will need to connect your phone with other device such as laptop or you can even connect it to your tablet or you can connect to other mobile phone as well. It doesn't have to be laptop. So in my case, I'm going to connect this one cable here, type C cable to my phone and the other side I'm going to connect it to my Galaxy Tab, Tab S8 Plus. So I'll just connect it like right now and when it's, when it's connected, if any, any options pop up here, just ignore them and now press and hold the power button and you can turn off the phone. So when you turn off the phone, and when you see it's completely dark screen here then you have to press power button and volume up key together and when you see this logo here secured by Knox you can let go of the board keys and then it will boot into the recovery mode here you will see quite a few options but you need to be careful with these options. You don't need to pre uh, choose any other options apart from wipe cache partition here. In this option, you can even reset your phone, but we don't want to do it right now. So all you have to do is select the ca wipe cache partition with up, with this arrow key. Uh, if you press up and down arrow key, it will go up and down. So let's clear the cache partition here. So when you go onto the wipe cache partition, press the power key it will ask you yes or no so just select yes and press power key and it, now you can see at the bottom here it says wiping cache and then cache wipe complete after that you can just reboot your phone from the top top uh, option here if this step still doesn't fix the issue then i'm going to show you one more thing you can try so next step you can try is uh, put your phone into the safe mode so to go into the safe mode you can press and hold the power key again and on power where it says power off press and hold it for a few seconds so when you press and hold it for a few seconds it will show you safe mode don't just press one time otherwise it will reboot the phone you need to press and hold for a few seconds so you can go into this uh, this option will appear just tap it on here and it will reboot the phone into the safe mode when the phone reboots you will be able to see safe mode at the bottom left side of the phone and also you will see the notification on the top here if you see here safe mode is on some of the unnecessary app won't load in the safe mode as you can see this whatsapp and all the browsers and other apps are not loading in this app so in this way, your phone has minimum apps, very minimum apps running in your phone. This way you can check if your phone's still running slow or you still get lag on your phone or you still get overheating in your phone. If in the safe mode, if your issue is fixed, then you know that some of the apps in your phone is causing the issue with your phone. So you need to go through your apps and see which app is causing the issue and you need to delete the app or reinstall the app again. To get out of the safe mode, you can simply tap on here or there is another way. If you don't get this option in your phone, then you can just press and hold the power button 
and restart the phone and it will re reboot into the normal mode again as you can see phone just rebooted and there is no safe mode here so it's out of the safe mode now the if the safe mode still doesn't fix the issue and, and if you still don't know what's causing the issue then there is the last thing we had you can try is to factory reset your phone so there are two ways you can factory reset your phone is to go into the setting and just search for reset if you see in here there is an option called factory data reset if you do factory data reset then you will lose everything on your phone so before you do this you need to make sure you have packed up everything from your phone there is another way is from the recovery mode when we were in the recovery mode i mentioned that as well that we can factory data reset from here uh, from this menu as well so if you want to do this that way, that way then you can do that way as well if it still doesn't fix the issue then unfortunately there is something wrong with your device and you need to take it to samsung to get it fixed thank you very much for watching guys i hope this helps share with your friends as well and like and subscribe to my channel